Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm your instructor Joy. Let me first play two tunes for you today. Were. The first one was uh, Tchaikovsky Melody, Melody by Tchaikovsky. The second one was The Two Grenadiers by Schumann, which the second piece can be found in Suzuki Book 2. Thank you very much for your continued support. Thank you very much for your kind words, booking lessons with me, supporting me here also on my Patreon page, sending me kind messages. I really, really appreciate. So this video is an answer to many, many violinist uh, requests, namely um, how one could control, control the first finger or sometimes I try to move my first finger um, lower or higher. I'm having hard time, um, I'm having um, trouble moving it flexible the way we want. Or another form of question was when I try to shift it using my first finger, um, it does not work as smoothly as I wish. Or sometimes I miss my spot where I should land on and so on. These are all very valuable questions and we all sometimes had that kind of um, issues. Namely, either where first finger is not in tune or we want to move it but somehow it does not work or we want to shift it a certain position up or down. It's not moving as smoothly, as relaxed as we wish. Now a couple of things that um, you, we want to check. Um, so when it comes to moving anything, whether it's first pinky, third, second finger, one has to make sure the fingertip has been light and relaxed enough so you can slide fingertip on the string easily. That starts not only checking the fingertip pressure, of course when you're pressing it very hard that's easy to spot, but sometimes just looking beyond the fingertip also helps. So see if you are not grabbing too hard. Sometimes we like to rest a little on the side of the index, on the side of the thumb, which is fine, but should be very light touch of this two spot. But if you're pressing very hard, that's, that creates certain tension. Therefore, uh, as the tension stays at the first fingertip. And this is one of the main cause that we have trouble when we try to move our first finger up or down. See if you can simply check it. So now if you're not sure, another uh, easy guidance would be um, <laughs> if you can put a little thin pen in between the neck of the violin and your left hand, just a little indication. That means there's a little space between your left hand and, and the neck. When you can keep certain space, that's a little easier to relax or a, a good indication that your left hand is not as pressed as you as you think. Of course, one could always do that, but once you squeeze it, it's often very hard to put a certain um, pen or anything through. See if you can put a little pen through, meaning a little gap, a little space between uh, your left hand and the neck would be a good place to check. Or, so if you can see just, if you, or your thumb is not, um, not too high, so sometimes a lot of people who used to play guitar like to hold the violin neck like, similar way. It seems to be like this. See if you can lower your thumb and naturally and then allow the wrist a bit straighter, which will also give a little room between your um, neck and the violin too. Yeah, and This will release the first finger pressure. That's the first thing to check. Second one is um, this, the Two Grenadiers by Schumann, which can be found in Suzuki Book 2. 
This is for a lot of um, early students or young students who is working with the Suzuki book or Suzuki method. This is very first time they have to play first finger from here to all the way to the nut. So um, if you are learning this piece or your instructor who is helping somebody to learn this one, this is first time that you will notice this is um, it's not as um, as easy as we think. We've forgotten about it. So moving our first finger away from us. It's not an easy one. So what a lot of students uh, end up doing is they move the entire hand like this. They move the entire hand and they're shifting back up, which is not impossible way, but the hand is moving for no reason. And we also know whenever we move our hand, we're risking losing intonation or control in general. So here one has to teach or one has to control that you keep your left hand and make sure you bring your just first finger away from you. See if you can have uh, all fingers lightly on and just move your first finger away or in each, each string. So just like that and moving your first finger alone. And when you do that, you will see now my first finger does not sit as curved as the other fingers. It is, let's see if I can show. So this is how normally we place the first finger, and let's say in F sharp. If I go F natural, the fingertip gets a little flatter. And that is okay. But if you try to forcefully keep the finger curved this way, like other fingers, and this is when the unnecessary tension created, and then we're fighting against our hand. So just keep your hand and bring your first finger. And allow the fingertip to be a little flatter, like this. So again, the two grand ideas by Schumann in Suzuki Book 2. Now here, keep your hand and just first finger. As soon as you're done, then neutralize. Bringing your first finger back where it's more comfortable. Then again, first finger alone. Do not move your entire hand. Keep your left hand and the thumb there. Then as soon as you're done, neutralize. Bring your first finger back to it where it was comfortably. playing um, like Tchaikovsky melody, your little advance or this piece or any kind of piece. Um, I thought that was a great example. So here, so what we are using first finger both shifting and extension. So when you shift, make sure that your thumb and then the um, landing finger, in this case first finger, moves together. Yeah, so often a lot of artists do moving, um, they move the landing finger, but they forget to take the thumb and the entire hand. And you, even if you get it, that landing note in tune, the rest finger most likely will be out of tune. Make sure you take the entire hand, especially the thumb. Here we do. Now we're shifting. Then shifting we go. This is extension. So we're keeping our hand just first finger flatter, same way as at the Schumann two grand ears. First finger little fl flatter. Then I'm going to shift. Now shift it. Light first finger tip with a thumb. Shift it. Extension. Again. Your hand, just bring your first finger and so on, like that. Yeah, of course, I am simplifying many steps. Long story short, check whether there is any uh, built in tension within the grip, and um, simply just making sure there's a little space between your hand, the left hand, and the neck, and then see. Um, whether you are keeping your hand when you're extending, align just certain finger, in this case one, just to go away from you. Now line fingertip to sit a little flatter, not necessarily very curved as the other one, and neutralize or bring him back as soon as you're done. Yeah? I hope this gave an idea. I hope you can try it yourself, and I wish you all happy practicing. Thank you all for watching, and see you again. Bye bye.